Hi and welcome to the screencast where we're gonna upgrade our Angular version in my ASP.NET 5 Angular 2 Seed project from Alpha 47 to Alpha 52 since there's been a couple of breaking changes. I also got in a couple of requests uh, on how to do this. So instead of just updating the repo, I figured I'm gonna record the process of how I usually go along uh, when upgrading the alpha versions between Angular 2 releases. So this is our seed project. When we refresh, we're running at 47 now, and we can fetch data from, the, from an ASP.NET 5 controller. Uh, I've done a couple of changes if you get the code from GitHub. Uh, I've actually done a couple of more screencasts that I haven't released yet, but that I've recorded, where we add Entity Framework 7 and ASP.NET 5 Identity. So for this screencast, we just want to focus on the Angular part. I've commented out uh, the authorized attributes and the part where we only fetch our specific users' shipments. So if you've only seen the two first screencasts, which I've just released at, uh, at this point, you're gonna need to run an entity framework command to initialize the database. So e dnx ef database update will create a database with the migration scripts that are checked in. So let's get started with the upgrade. So I always look at the change log at GitHub, and we're gonna look at the ones that are above the Alpha 47 version. So we can see immediately that in 48, we have a couple of breaking changes here. Uh, it looks like we're gonna need to import uh, the operators map. So let's just add this piece of code to our app.ts. And let's keep on scrolling. And we can see that we have a couple of other breaking changes where we're gonna need to add the following dependencies to our package.json file. So the ones that we don't got are these ones. So let's add them as well. Let's come to our package.json and add the new dependencies. And let's actually get the latest alpha now as well, which is 52. And with 52, uh, we're gonna need to use the alpha 14 version of RxJS. And so let's do an npm install. And switch back to our code and Let's get rid of the lib folder and just copy them again to get the latest version. So let's switch to the browser and hopefully we've broken our code now. So let's refresh and we got an error for the ng4 directive. So if we take a look at the change log again, if you just keep on scrolling we can see that we have a breaking change uh, for the template syntax. Uh, so they've gone, gone from uh, the dash uh, syntax to camel casing again. So they've been switching f back and forth between these. So let's see for how long they're gonna do uh, camel casing. So that's an easy fix. We just come into app, app.html instead, instead of ng-4. We just do ng4 with camel casing. Let's save this file as well. Switch back, refresh, see what happens. So now we can see that it tries to load the RxJS operators map, but can't find it. So we're gonna need to copy RxJS into our lib folder. So let's extend our gulp file and the easiest way to go about this is just to create a new task. Let's call it RxJS. And copy paste some code from down here. And we're gonna want to take all the files 
in RxJS, or at least all the JS files, and pipe them to the paths lib and put them in a separate folder for RxJS. And we're going to make libs depend on RxJS, so we run that before libs. So if we run this now in the task explorer, libs run, you can see that we executed RxJS first. And if we take a look in our libs folder, nothing really happened. So, and actually, I can actually see the typo before even going there. I've typed uh, lib here, but we actually need to look in the npm directory and not in lib since, since that's the source. So let's just try this once again before debugging further. And now we got RxJS, so that's sweet. Uh, all right, so let's come back again to the browser, refresh. And uh, we're still not loading RxJS, so it says 404 not found. And uh, if we just look at the path that it tries to load it from, we can see that it's wrong. It's not trying to load it from the lib folder. So we're going to configure system.js uh, with a new path to find the RxJS uh, libraries. Switch back to studio, and we're going to do that in index.html. And we're going to add a map property. And we're going to point out RxJS and tell it we can find it in lib RxJS. Let's save this. Switch back, hit F5. And now we can see that we are actually trying to load it from the correct place, but it says that operators map can't be found. So if we switch back to Visual Studio and take a look in the node modules catalog under RxJS, uh, we can see that uh, the folder is actually called operator and not operators, which was true for earlier versions. So if you change this to operator, save, come back, hit F5, we do find the JS, uh, the, the JS file uh, map dot map dot JS on the Rx uh, and on the operator folder, but uh, that's not actually the uh, the file that we want to include. So that was true for uh, alpha eleven of Rx five o o, but from alpha. 12 and up and uh, now it's in alpha 14 we're gonna need to get the map file from a different folder so if we take a look in the structure again we're gonna want uh, the file that's under add operator and then we have the map file uh, so if we come to our app.ts file instead of getting the file on the operator we're gonna want to go add operator map and that's the correct one so if we switch back to our browser now hit f5 and we've successfully upgraded to angular 2 alpha 52 and uh, that's how i usually go about when upgrading the versions i just take a look at the breaking changes in the change log and try to uh, upgrade and whenever i and if I get stuck, uh, you always have Stack Overflow in Google. So I hope that was helpful, and until next time, have a nice day.